So, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Some of the cameras I've been using are built like tanks. This one literally is built like a tank. This is the Asahi Pentax Spotmatic SP2. She's battered, she's bruised, paint's chipping off, brass exposed, works flawlessly, gets shots every time. It's beautiful. I bought this from a local auction site. There were better models, or cosmetically better models, but I wanted this one as, as soon as I saw the pictures of this one with with all the brassing coming through, I just knew that this one had been used, it had been loved, probably abused a little bit. It's got some history. It came with a super multi-coated Takamar 55mm f2 lens. But I wanted to partner this with a super Takamar 35mm f3.5 lens, which I have done, and uh, you'll see the results shortly. Listen to this. It's beautiful, it's a thing of beauty. So to try this wonderful piece of Japanese engineering out, I took it to a local Viking festival, which, uh, <laughs> If we'd have gone on the Saturday, when the sun was shining, there was a couple of thousand people turned out. We went on a Sunday when it was a bit crusty, and uh, well, it was, a, it was a low turnout, but still made some nice photographs. Or I hope it did anyway. That's the main thing, see what you think. So I threw some Ilford FP4 into the camera, but because it was a dull day, I rated it at ISO 400, processed it accordingly. I'm quite happy with the majority of the results. There's nothing more I can tell you about this camera other than I'm gonna use this camera, I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna love it. I adore it, the weight of it, it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The Asahi Pentax Spotmatic SP2 was made in Japan, was introduced between 
conclusion, after my first attempt with the Spotmatic SP2, I have to say, slightly disappointed. Not in the camera, not at all. Slightly disappointed in my performance with the camera. Uh, quite a lot of the shots have come out soft. Incredibly soft, actually. Uh, I wouldn't even say soft, I'd say totally out of focus on them. It was quite dull, overcast lighting, as you could see. Focusing this thing, especially when you're trying to focus on moving subject, the majority of the frames were shot around about f3.5, so quite a shallow depth of field. And obviously, you've got to get your you've got to get your focus pretty much uh, spot on, shooting at, uh, at that aperture, which I don't think I made a good job of. I'm looking forward to shooting this in bright light, like it like it's today. We've got some, got some cracking light today, so I'm looking forward to shooting it again then, and uh, maybe maybe some portraits, not so much moving subjects. I really do need to brush up on my manual focusing technique. I'm pretty disappointed with that. But on that, love the camera, absolutely love it. Now join me next time, guys, when I do a little bit of macro photography. A Spotmatic SP2, oh. a bellows, and a 55 millimeter f 1.8 lens for now from new zealand take it easy watch out for monkey pox <laughs>